my name is Amy Koishizaki, and I am a co-founder of Art City Cambridge. We are a group of like-minded artists and art lovers who are from Cambridge, from Boston, from Greater Boston, who wanted to really do something a little bit different in that we want to elevate and celebrate the emerging artists in Cambridge and Greater Boston in unique ways that probably haven't been done before, or maybe not on this scale. So we've started with Art City August, which is our very grand month of art. We're hoping that it will expand to be the whole month, but this year we went down in scale and just did the weekends and some pop-ups. The first weekend was Jamma Palooza at Lafayette Plaza, which was a great success with eight bands, two comedians, about a thousand people stopped by, watched, sat, stayed for a band, clapped, and maybe carried on or stayed for the whole day. It was a really nice time. Then the next weekend, we actually had our first community film fest, which is uh, amateur family filmmakers and some really great artists. Afterwards, we actually filmed an ice bucket challenge on the fly with a bunch of cameras and some added props. So we're thinking that in the future, we'll do some sort of film potluck where someone brings a prop, someone brings a costume, someone brings the camera, and you create a film and then you leave. Uh, this weekend, actually, is, we're very excited to present our dance weekend, which are two days of dance. We have a dance museum at Winthrop Park, which will be full of improv dancers who will be inviting you to participate and or just enjoy the splendor of having dancers all around you and feeling the energy of the park and the energy of the art around you. Then the, at the dance complex, we have our Sunday performance with several dance groups. They will be either answering questions after the show or during the show, and it will be a very nice collaborative effort between the audience and the dancers to create something a little bit more approachable in an art sense. The fourth weekend we'll have our art walk at University Park, which is full of almost 70 artists at this point and counting. We'll have some food trucks and some food vendors. You'll be invited to paint with the artists, to draw with the artists. There will also be a community craft project that will accumulate over the course of the day and hopefully create a really neat sculpture that no one could have anticipated from the beginning. We're hoping that everyone comes in, joins Art City, joins us for the next years to come, and that we create new and fun ways of showcasing your art, whatever that may be. Okay, so... I am Megan Ryling, and I've been working with this group, Art City Cambridge, and bringing in, um, I have a dance group called Calamity Co-Dance, and we've been kind of coming together to make a few dance events for this weekend. Um, the one that I'm particularly excited about is tomorrow, it's an outdoor dance museum, and I've kind of bugged every dancer that I've ever met in my life to come and just kind of play in the park together for a few hours in the evening. So it'll be right in Harvard Square, out by Grendel's Den and Pete's, and so places where just lots of people are walking by, but instead of just walking through the park, they're going to walk through and see a lot of improv dance, which I'm excited about because most people don't see improv dance or modern dance at all. Um, so a lot of people that I know, um, Carrie McKinley, Cara Philly, Tara Weaver, Molly Hess, Luminarium Dance Company, this girl Alicia Conan, who I just met through the internet, she's going to be there. Um, I'm bringing both established pieces with music and just like playing improv games and doing improv structures all throughout the park. Lots of things happening at the same time.